Welcome to a change of pace. Hi. Hi, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to Couch Capades and um, Dear Esther. Dear Esther. Dear Esther. What are we playing? Uh, so this is apparently a ghost story. Oh, okay, cool. And this is the first game that really got the title of Walking Sim. Okay. So this was kind of panned because it was not a game a per game. se, but uh -huh. you walk around, you explore, you find things. That's how the story is told. Okay. So, so this is only, this is about a 10-year-old game. This came out in February of 2012, so oh, well, yeah, a month short. A month short. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, as cool. of when we're as of when it comes out. As of when this episode comes out. Okay. No, 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 no that's fine. I'm, I'm down. Let's uh Oh wow, there's director's commentary? Oh yeah, we got the landmark edition. Oh, that's cool. Sure. Let's just jump Wait. in and see cuz I mean, we like our walking this? simulators. We loved yeah. Firewatch. Yeah, so good. I sometimes feel as if I've given birth to this island. Somewhere between the longitude and latitude, a split opened up and it beached remotely here. No matter how hard I correlate, it remains a singularity, an alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. I return each time leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight in the interim. I feel bad that you feel like you gave birth to the island. That doesn't seem like it came out that, easy. That sounds very painful. But yeah, like, uh, Firewatch was fantastic. I don't know how we got to this island. This is weird. Um, that boat looks very old. Yeah. And like, it's been there for a long time. Uh, what Eden remains Finch. of Edith Finch. Edith Finch is ama <sighs> downright amazing. It's one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Yeah. Now I look upon the sea, and I see that there's nothing but me staring <laughs> back at me. And I wonder, is this all that life is? Are oh, you actually in the water? Will we ever get... Oh, shit. I can actually get into the... Oh. Um. Oh. Maybe you shouldn't drown yourself. Did I just die? <laughs> can you get out? Did, did, what did I do? <laughs> Come, back. Come back. I was just trying to do a bit, man. <laughs> Oh, achievement. I got achievement. <laughs> achievement. Cool. I was just trying to do a bit where I was like, I look longing into the sea and wonder, will we ever have enough Take stock to get more PlayStation 5s or Series Xs or insert a new console if you watch this game 10 years from now? We are clearly coming in with the evergreen content just right off the bat. We need a PS5. By the time this comes out, we might even have another PS5. <laughs> Actually, I was going to say, we'll probably have another PS5 and Series X by then, most likely. I don't know. Maybe oh. not by then, but... Oh. oh, hey, look at that. Well, that does not look like a place that I would want to spend. That's not a very good thinking throne. This is not a good thinking throne. That this, would, this is what happens. That would mess with my thought process. Exactly. A lot. This is fresh, though, right after Taco Bell. Ew. Right? Ew. Right? Would you call Layers of Fear a walking sim? Yeah, actually I would. I mean, come at me in the comments. I don't care or discuss in the comments. Let me know. Yeah. Uh, I think I would I would put it on the walking sim. I I, I mean, if you gave like games three, like. Um, oh, oh, God. What? What? That's an equation. That is an equation. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Full just, on, just gonna take just, pictures real fast. Oh, hold, yeah. hold on, just a moment, just a moment. Will you move the flashlight a little bit, or maybe not go yeah. back? I was like, Never I mind. don't really have a good place to. Okay, I think that should work. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you gave like games like three genres, because I mean, there's a lot of crossover and whatnot. Yeah. So I would put Walking Sim, Layers of Fear, and Walking Sim. I, I think it, I think it fits because I yeah. mean, you literally just walk and the story gets told to you. You don't attack you don't fight you make yeah. decisions so yeah walking sim ah! i want to say i remember in the first one you could get attacked and like you can die yeah you can die but, but man this was just a rage wasn't it like a party apparently oops, oops, i oops, oops, oops. Okay, that doesn't really work right i am vaguely concerned why they like the state of the island yeah makes me wonder how they have um glow-in-the-dark paint. I agree with that. I'm going to go this way. Oh, we're going up first. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this is a 
good idea or a bad idea. It's an idea. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, please don't fall off. This might have been a mistake. Oh, yeah, I well, think it was. We, we learn. Oh, God. That's cool. That's cool. Hopefully. Huh. So we're just going to keep going? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Like, I... No way. Like, I'm guessing I had to follow that bird that showed up. Because that's the only life we've seen. I thought the seen. bird flew up. No, it flew to the side. Oh. Oops. And I was just like, I'm going to do something different. Wow, is there no run? I can zoom in. <laughs> and zoom in. Okay, okay. Zoom in. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Please... Please stop. I was actually trying to. I'm literally trying to find something. I mean, we have all these uh, crab cages. Yeah, pretty much. Clearly, I do not spend very much time at the beach. <laughs> I don't. Cages. I don't. I don't know what they are called. Traps. Those islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. Did you see any islands? I didn't. Okay. I, I didn't see any islands. I was just like, what? I, I just figured I would check. What islands are you talking about, mate? Okay. Yeah. Just as, as I, <laughs> I wander through the valley of the shadow of death. I've been living a gangster's paradise. Oh, God. I was wondering where you were going to go with that. I, I was just sitting here going, I know that he doesn't know what comes next. We've been spending most of our lives living in a gangster's paradise. <sighs> That's a six. That's one six. We're missing two other sixes, too. Oh ah, ah, ah. Two sixes. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> The count's really going after it. Like, I, I guess. <laughs> they, they changed the count just a little bit, and you're like, oh, okay. Jeez. Dear Esther, I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves. My forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me so all overexposed the nervous system where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Did Esther die? Sounds like Esther died. Ah, uh, there's a good chance, yeah. I don't want to go too far out. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to die. Don't want to die again. Don't you're about die. you're about to go I don't under. Want to die <laughs> Watch Couch Cabades play Dear Esther. John figured out how to die within the first minute. <laughs> it's Couch Cabades way. <laughs> Look, we are clearly the best at games. Okay. Obviously. I'm going to take a while. I guess I need to go up those stairs. Probably. I, I see a little. I, I wish there was a light jog button. Yeah. Like this is this is the fast I go. One, six. Uh, uh, oh, it has a tail. With a four? Or an N or a Z. It's a rune. It's a rune. I don't know. Dear Esther was the beginning of Bloodborne. No one knows that. <laughs> the prequel to Bloodborne. Oh, it w they went very quickly from walking sim to, oh my God. <laughs> walking sim to brutally hard. <laughs> but what it, what it taught you is patience. Ah, That's exactly. Yes. That's the through line of... Uh, Dear Esther and Bloodborne is patience. So does that mean that Esther is the doll? That'd be cool. I'm down with Esther being the doll. I love the doll. <laughs> oh. I question my sanity as I've been here for 60 years, yet I haven't aged a day. Are you Dorian Gray? Damn, I need some Wendy's. <laughs> That'd look be the greatest thing. Look at thing. the beach from here. Like, Is there anything? Okay, there's nothing. Keep going. That'd be good. You know, we should write a poem book where it's in ye old English, but it's like mixed with damn, I need a tweet <laughs> or something like that. Like, 
as I stare upon this beach and I see nothing but life staring back at me. Let me take a selfie. <laughs> That might be our Twitter account. That's, that, I might start doing that on Twitter. <laughs> Just <laughs> you know what, you guys go follow <laughs> at it's John Box on Twitter. I was gonna do it for the for cast more Twitter. Si nope. Donnelly nope. Has not been taken out from the library since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. What year is it? <laughs> also, what book? Yeah, also, what book is Dorian Gray? Who, who is Donnelly? <laughs> I don't... I don't recognize the name, and that slightly upsets me, because it, that's how I work. <laughs> But yes, uh, follow at It's John Box for more amazing ye old English with modernist died tweets. Or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice. They cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. Oh. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until. Whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this. To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Oh, okay. Huh. That's so those are carved it. Okay, all right. Well, now, all right, now, now. Okay, that. I like the drip this feed is concept. Now more interesting. Yeah, I like the drip feed context concept. Yeah. As I look at oh, the. God mountains and the carvings where you can see the white chalk i question do i want a venti from stobbies john 2022 <laughs> forgot what year this is coming out <laughs> oh god you also forgot that 2021 was a year i did <laughs> <laughs> i feel like that's been the most the biggest thing there about 2021 people, those shepherds there was no love in the relationship donnelly tells me that they had one bible that was passed around in strict rotation it was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776 two years before the island was abandoned altogether in the interim i wonder did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit its contradictions. Huh? Huh. Huh. We're over here doing a comedy show and they're just like, the Bible is full of contradictions. And we will carve it onto every stone on this island. And we're just here like stobbies. <laughs> uh, is that, if that's not if that's not catchphrase, <laughs> I don't know what is. Uh, you make a good point the there. After, I met Paul and Ringo. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason, or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. What? That's what happens when you live in a yellow submarine. Wow. But are you the walrus? I love how you're just like, not the cave. <laughs> but are you the walrus? <laughs> Cuckoo, ka <-choo. laughs> no, We'll must... make tons of old references that nobody <laughs> understands. Oh, the Beatles are, Beatles are still hip. Guys, let us know in the comments. How often do you listen to the Beatles? I, I, I'm sure it was the cave, but... But it's John. But it's me. Why advance the story when we can go running off in another direction? 
This is a very pretty island, though. It is a very, very pretty island. John's just like, there's a light over there. I'm gonna find the vegetation it. vegetation here has fossilized from the roots up. To think they once grazed animals here, the remnants of occupation being evidence to that. It is all sick to death. The water is too polluted for the fish. The sky is too thin for the birds, and the soil is cut with the bones of hermits and shepherds. I've heard it said that human ashes make great fertilizer, that we could sow a forest from all that is left of your hips and ribcage, with enough left Ooh. over to thicken the air and repopulate the bay. So yeah, something happened. Something, yeah. Something went down on this island. Yeah, some, something went south real bad. And if we look upon Stonehenge, we'll see. But where is Paperhenge? Hi. What? Three chemistry? Something like that, yeah. Wits? I don't know. I found my old book. God, I, I truly don't know if I... Like, I can't tell if there's a wrong way to go. Either. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, am I going the right way or wrong way? Is there a right way? Yeah, Is there like, a wrong I, way? I don't actually know. Because I feel like if we were going the wrong way, there would be more dead ends and stuff. Yeah. Because that also comes down to game design. If you want people to go in a specific way, you need to not They'll give them choices. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very, very pretty game. As it starts getting darker yeah, and I don't darker. Like, okay, well, I, I, oops. We were saying about... Uh, okay, well, at least it tells you when to stop, so let's just... Head back. Head back. So you can't go down that cliff? I'm sure I actually probably could. But my question is, do, can I get back up somewhere? Who knows? Because well, there's a... No, I'm screwed. <laughs> Damn it. We're never coming Dondoli. back. Oh, no. A cute team. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turnoff for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. What? Did the game just tell me that I effed up? I feel like the game just told me I effed up. The game just told you that... There's... A thing you're looking for that is only clear after you've passed it. I think. What is <laughs> happening? I don't know. I'm kind of here for it. Yeah. This is honestly really interesting. And it's a bit more open world type than several walking sims that we've done yeah i i assumed this was going to be wide linear when we started playing this i was like okay that's fine we just point a to point b it let's, let's yeah. go up down with that no this is a lot more open than i thought it was going to be yeah and i'm really not upset about it can you as can, i came to the beach can you climb on any of these boxes? I questioned everything, including why did Godzilla do this? John 2022. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some fishing or cargo boats. Yeah. Maybe mail. Cargo boats. Yeah. I just, Jesus. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. I definitely see how this game influenced other walking sims. Like, I'm getting a lot of Edith Finch from the bay and the yeah. water and everything. Uh, when we were in the canyon, it felt very much like Firewatch. Yeah, you can see. You can see the. Wait, 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 what's that? There must oh. be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Okay. 
But yeah, definitely see where this helped to make a genre. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Yeah. Does that say something? I neither did. Eat more drink? <laughs> Eat, pray, love? <laughs> Eat more drink? Um, okay, let's see if I can get a... I don't know if I can get a good spot. I think you might need to look at it from both sides if possible. Oh, that's a good point. Like, circle around to the other side over there. Yeah. It's a... Son of a bitch. Or... Or... Or, or our capture can just Our die. capture can just go kaput. Um, very sorry about that, guys. Neither did... Neither did he eat nor drink. I think. Yeah, I'm with you. And, and neither did he eat nor drink. Interesting. Huh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I, I... <laughs> okay, so uh, to let everyone know like i go i get to, right. to what go right. okay Let's i go do around to the other side i do get to a point in my head where i'm like what the hell why is it are you being pushed no i'm but it's i had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital after the operation when i was still half submerged in anesthetic your outline and your speech both blurred now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Okay. So yes, she is no longer She's with us. She's no longer with us, okay. No, no, what I was gonna say, just a little inside on John, is I get to a point when I'm like, all right, am I progressing story? And I start having an internal panic attack. <laughs> like, I, I'm so old school when it comes to games where I just like, get it done. Yeah. So I'm still, I still have issues with games like this or where it wants me to explore, but it doesn't tell me how to. So I like, I'm not going to lie. I was a little surprised that you wanted to take control on this one. I know, but I, I really am trying to break myself of this. <laughs> Cause you're just here like, okay, this place makes any sluggish effort at life. You can see the boy and the aerial. I've been taking to sleeping through the day in an attempt to resurrect myself. I can feel the last days drawing upon me. There's little point now in continuation. There must be something new to find here. Some nook or some cranny that offers a perspective worth clinging to. I've burnt my bridges. I've sunk my boats and watched them go to water. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I want to know what's going on with us now. And what happened to Esther. Yeah, and well, Donnelly. we know what happened. Oh yeah, that, we know what happened. Oh, okay, Esther. well, I'm glad. But yeah, it's okay. So I think you walk a little bit faster when you're on a path. Yes. Oh, did I miss? Did you miss what? Oh no, it's right here. I'm sorry. I was like, yeah, there's a path down, just there to the left. But yeah. <laughs> I think you walk faster when you're on a path as you keep on drifting just off the path. Floating off the path. <laughs> But yeah, uh, these games are very interesting to me. I like the freedom of movement. And yet there's also so much second guessing myself and just going, did I go the right way? Am I going the right way? Will I keep going the right way? Yeah. So just n things like that. And that's just how I personally play most games. No, I'm with you on that one. I do the same thing. I'm just kind of like, huh? Huh? I do like the little tid tidbits of story that helps uh -huh. me. So anytime I trigger something, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm, I might be going the right way. And I'm assuming whenever I start with Dear Esther, that's a major point. Especially yeah. since that's what the game's called. So Yeah. That's what it seems to be. So that's pretty cool. Up into the mountains. As it's getting darker. 
It really kind of freaks me out that this game started at dusk. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, I get that it's the magic time of day, but... <laughs> right? Okay, so is it going to... You can't get up? Oh, 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 oh. Because there's no jump button in this one. Oh, nope, okay. Oh. oh, this is where it came from. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Then Sorry, I th I thought you caught. I thought you caught that. Um, then so how do? <laughs> um, I think a little bit more to the right. I think that there's another path over there. Somewhere. Um. So yeah, let's go to the right. And look for another path to get off the beach. Okay, I think I see one up there. Yeah. Okay. I think that you were about to take it earlier, and I said, no, let's go to the other side of the bay here. Yeah. So. That one is on me. Oh, good. I mean, again, this is a walking simulator, so we're just kind of <laughs> like, this is nice. I mean, we're not doing anything. I'm not being chased by anything, which is... Uh very refreshing to me <laughs> not trying to kill anything nothing's not, trying to kill you Nothing's trying to kill me i don't have emmys coming after me i'm just i'm kind of just enjoying <laughs> the walk which is very very nice yeah uh, uh yeah there's a path here we go just here like i i know i saw something because earlier, like, the wind was blowing, and I was just like, is this like a Ghost of Tsushima, you're supposed to follow the wind follow thing? Follow the wind. <laughs> <laughs> just like, the game gives itty-bitty hints, and you got to be on the lookout for them. I f okay. I think we're good. I think we're okay, yeah. You know, we're going down into the heart of this volcano. When I first looked into the shaft, I swear I felt the stones in my stomach shift in recognition. Yeah, I don't want to go down yeah, there. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. I could fall down there. Let's walk all the way around, though. I think that you can get out to the left right here. Okay. Uh, but I want to... Yeah, this isn't too much further around. I'll use this chain to protect me. <laughs> Such a protective chain. ADA compliant. <laughs> this chain is ADA compliant as I look into the abyss. This deep dark hole and I wonder, am I looking into my soul? Or are you just staring into Gritty's eyes? Are you just staring into Gritty's eyes? Shop at Hot Topic, John 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we shopping at Hot Topic? Because I'm looking into the depths of my soul and it's dark. Ah. <sighs> away from the sea and towards the center. It is a straight line to the summit where the evening begins to coil around the aerial and squeeze the signals into early silence. The Bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. I too will creep under the island like an animal and approach it from the northern shore. All right, cool story. She is. Wow, that's actually really pretty. Yeah. game needs a photo mode now <laughs> <laughs> I know just by the way the music for this is gorgeous is there a vinyl for it I think there is I think so I think we need to get it now I think we're I think it's just fine it was constructed originally in the early 1700s by then shepherding had formalized into a career the first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. 
three cormorants seen at dusk, they did not land. This house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents, my camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly, famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. Huh. Oh, oh, there oh, went the bird. the bird. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Where are you going, bird? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to follow you that way. <laughs> don't think that, I don't think that's a good idea. Probably All right. Not. Um, should we come back next time and yeah. keep on? Oh, hello. Yeah, there's the phosphorescence he was talking about. Yeah. All right, come back next time. We'll we'll keep on going. This yeah. Is, this is very interesting. This is a trip. Uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.